coach my i have two questions to you the first is how uh, do you have any plans to replace vishal keith for the uh, odisha match not at all uh i support him full and he will play and i don't have not even 1% thinking in my head to change him thank you coach my but, second uh, this uh, counts for all my players when you take out the player after mistake this is for me i don't agree so he will play and he keep my full support thank you thank you for your clarification coach my second question is uh what was the specific reason for starting lukash ahead of midland against mumbai city can you tell uh, us please uh, first of all uh, i wanted to give him a second game on the road uh, this is uh, this is the this is my my thoughts was the planning to him to give him a second game so this was the the reason and uh, i would be believing with chante he can uh, pair up good but of course we could do better especially in attacking first half thank you coach thank you uh, arjit am i audible coach, coach yes yes arjit yes yes we can i am arjit from hafe football hope you are doing good i have two questions for you uh, my first question is coach chennai fc created a lot of chances in the matches against apk mohan bagan and mumbai city fc but failed to convert them is that a matter of concern for the team who will be up against one of the stable defense in the league i hear you very not, not clear but i hope i didn't understand the question that uh, uh, first of all we created many chances and we are missing the goal this is clear and this happens now a uh, couple games even the east bengal game north east uh, we we created many chances uh, even atk game so we need goal i just believe that it's a matter of time that uh, we will score the goal this is one thing uh, the second thing uh, uh, our defense are uh, well organized uh, discipline and uh, even if you do high pressing or middle zone defending or low you have to be disciplined and if you want to play in a high level you have to you have to have a discipline you have to have a good organization in defense and this is uh, for me very 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 clear and i said to the to the players the same that uh, i agree with you that we are missing the goal and but from other side our defending if you want to play in a high level you have to be disciplined and of course uh, we we are the proof that these players uh, can do this in the in the very very good level okay coach uh, one more question yes. um, do you think that the absence of rafael crevalaro has affected the attacking department of chennai nfc Also, can you please provide us an update of Rafael Crivellaro? Uh, please, can you repeat one more the first thing about Rafael? Coach, uh, do you think that the absence of Rafael Crivellaro has affected the performance of Chennai FC? Uh, f- first of all, first of all, I don't, I don't like, I don't like as a coach excuses. Of course, uh, you have to understand that we are minus one foreigner. Okay, he's a, of course, very good player, quality player. uh if he could help the team of course 100% but now we don't have him so we have to play without him in this moment he is doing very light sessions with the bicycles as i said as a, as a, as a, as a last my press conference that uh, now he is uh, without training with the team for uh, for two months he didn't even play one friendly game so in this moment uh, for the fans and for the everybody we don't have rafael crivaro for the next games okay thank you coach uh, wishing you all the best for tomorrow's match thank you very much thank you uh, shilaros yeah hi coach uh, coach you have already said a bit about the goal scoring problems but uh, are you looking at any uh, replacements in the january transfer window are you looking at any players who i mean forwards or strikers who can score goals and why do you think like uh, there have been you know the goal scoring problems have arisen is it because of you know players coming you know players don't have any confidence in themselves or what do you think is the problem is uh for, on the first question uh, really in this moment i don't want to i don't want to talk about this uh, about replacements and all this we have a games up front up front of us 
It's, so it's very important that we concentrate on the players uh, that we have. Um, sometimes it's a pressure. Sometimes it's a, it's a, it's a confidence. And uh, uh, longest we make chances, uh, I believe, and what I what I'm uh, what I believe that uh, when you make chances, the goal will come. So it's a matter of time. Believe believing it's uh, or uh, even uh, this is better. For example, if you defend and you don't defend good, and you uh, you receive many chances opposite, then it's a matter of time you will concede the goals. So this means we need balance, and I hope in attacking uh, uh, we will we will uh, be more effective and we will we will score the goals. Thank you, thank you. you. Uh, Shri Vatsan. Good afternoon, coach. Uh, first of all, uh, all the best for uh, tomorrow's game. This is Shri Vatsan from DT Next. Hello, coach. Uh, in each of the first five matches, you've used a maximum of only three subs. Uh, so, are you finding it difficult to adapt to the five-sub rule in ISL or is it just because of the match situation? Uh, no, it's, uh, I know when we know that we have a five changes, change, uh, changes. So, we make changes what we see on the game. We don't have to make a five changes. We don't have to even make a three changes if you are okay. We need to make it depend from the game. So we see this and we make three, okay, we make three, three changes. So this doesn't mean the number of the changes uh, you made that you have to do it. It's depending and seeing on the game, depending of the, of looking the players on the training and, uh, and everything. Thank you. Uh, and oh, sure. uh, I can, uh, I can sorry. Say yeah. changing five players in, um, in uh, it's half of the team, you know, it's, sometimes it's, so it depends from the situation. If we need, we will do it. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Kaushik? Yeah, hi. Uh, good afternoon, Coach. All the best for uh, tomorrow. Good afternoon. So, uh, my, my name is Kaushik and I'm from Kino Football. My question to you is, uh, you know, adding on to the previous question, you haven't made a lot of changes in your in your team in these in these five games. Is it something that you have in mind to increase, you know, coordination with these players considering they are playing together for a long time? Or is it something that you see in training that you want to see the players who are not playing regularly before you give them a chance in the team? So, what is your thought process behind it? Uh... Both, both, but especially, especially uh, if you see the first three games, almost I play with the same team. I want them to play together. I want them to learn together to play. This is the this is the this is the the main thing, and this is the short competition, and uh, we don't have too much time to 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 work. It's many games uh, every three four days, but in the same time, if you want to do this you need to have a good physical condition. So we can do this and my players can play every three or four days. Of course, I said before that uh, a physical condition of my team, it's not the level that I want, but for uh, 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 from the thinking and the knowing what we, what from the first day till now, it's, uh, it's, it's in one good level. But uh, for me, it's, uh, we need to be, and we're thinking very carefully when to use the players and uh, when to keep the, the same team. Yes, this is the one thing that uh, uh, I want to give a chance, a couple of games of the same team, and then we will see, and then we will see where we can, uh, where we can uh, put the players and uh, give them, uh, give them chance. As uh, for example, we put Edwin and uh, he was ready in more time in that time that we can give him chance and try to see how he's doing. Thanks, coach. All the best. Uh, Sajid. Yeah. Good afternoon, coach. Uh, coach, till now you are not uh, you are you are not lost a single match. So, no, so basically, after the uh, defeat to Mumbai, how different are you going to approach the game tomorrow? Uh, I, for me, believing in the team and uh, questioning the team and questioning the players, like if he did make a mistake or losing the game. It was painful to lose the game like this, but uh, uh, my belief in the team and the players are uh, now double. So uh, we keep going and uh, to believe that uh, to, re to reach our target. And uh, uh, the main thing is don't forget the goal, what we make and target that we, that we want to reach. So we need to, be, we need to be ready. We need to, it's a new game. 
uh, new three points uh, and we need to go go for it because with this win we 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 will be very well and uh, we will get our confidence back thank you and good luck for the match tomorrow thank you uh rabu sir uh, yeah coach uh, you have the best view of players you watch them all the time in training uh, among the forwards who looks most likely to come good in front of goal can you give us any clue uh you know when you make a change the, the most important is that you make a changes now uh, even mirlan even lucas even uh, rahim when you see him on the training uh, they they are scoring the goals and they are they are very 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 well so um, all of them they can score the only thing is now to to it's for me what i believe it's a matter of of just a moment coach i have one more question uh, yes, was the formation 352 Uh, specific for ATK Mohan Bagan and Mumbai City FC because they were stronger teams are going to uh, change the formation against Odisha. Uh, not about the stronger team. I I wanted uh, I wanted uh, no I wanted I see the team that in that moment we can we can we can change we can change the system. This is one thing, uh, and then uh, the players did very well. I wanted uh, to change to play with two forwards. in the midfield we didn't change uh, we didn't change nothing so uh, for me it's not the it's not the system system it's a starting position it's the movements of the players so uh, i i i wanted to play with uh, two forwards and this is very 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 important uh, that i i decide in the central channel of course it's uh, more stronger even in um, in in defense for me we did very well with the two teams against two teams they have almost the same players um, a couple of years if i don't make a mistake with a strong team so we was very very close uh, even we should win the game against atk for uh, uh, for mumbai game uh, they didn't i don't think that they deserve to win like maybe we we didn't deserve to win so but we did very well these two games Of course, the last game we could do more better in attacking, especially first half. Thank you, coach. Uh, does anyone have any more questions? Yeah, I'll go. Shilas, ah, uh, uh-huh. so if you could just introduce your organization as well. Yeah, uh, Shilas from Times, coach. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, your view about Orissa FC, basically, like. very unpredictable side i mean apart from a few players you know not no not everyone is playing so well so your views about this side how do you see them like uh, i mean after such tough games like atk mohan bagan and mumbai city uh, your players might tend to relax a bit but how do you see this side uh, for me every game is uh, difficult you have to approach uh, very very with full concentration because uh, this uh, this is what we need and uh, uh, for example we lost uh, we lost the game because of small small things the last game so uh, we have to keep going it's a good team they have some very dangerous players uh, dangerous set pieces that uh, we need to then we need to then we need to resolve this in defense and uh, they have some individually very good players that uh, they can make uh, they can make problems so uh we are ready for it and uh we like with discipline with concentration with uh scoring the goals and winning the game but uh there is uh, there is all the games are very difficult uh, and uh, you can see upside down the some games conceding many goals conceding the less goals so we need to be the most important that we are okay uh, i have just one more question a uh, follow up question to a previous question Uh, shall I go or yes 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 yes, yes. yes. yeah uh, yeah I just wanted to check uh, you have already answered about Vishal Kaith but uh, I mean has he been training uh, you know how did you tell him like after the, the few mistakes that he committed in the last game wh- how did you approach him what did you tell him like has he been training specifically because I mean the t- time is very short between these two games so how do you you know boost his morale or something like that uh you talking about vishal yeah yeah uh i talk to him it's normal that i talk with my players especially now 
Uh, I call him and I tell him it's my responsibility. It's my fault. I take the game on me. He doesn't need to worry about anything. He have full my belief and full my support for the for the mistake for the mistake. But if you see, uh, uh, I always I did say in the not in previous in some conf, pre press conference before. If we start, if we go back, because uh, you are all journalists and you look only the the, the, the final the final picture. Uh, if you go, if you if you go back and we see where we had the ball, how the foul is made, um, how the line of the of the line of defending was in the free kick, uh, is there free player? And then of course it's a last picture of him. So everybody is pointing on the Vishal. So me as a coach, I never point the finger in my player. He has full my support, and he will especially now, especially tomorrow. He will play. He's the first one who will play. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a good. Thanks a lot, and all the best. Thank you very much, Sartak. I have one follow-up question to Vishal. Can I can I ask him? Uh, okay, I think this is the last question, but I think we'll close after this. Yes. Okay, coach. Uh, uh, you talked about your uh, position on Vishal. But has he not been making the same mistakes against Odish? Against Hyderabad, he came out of the line and uh, Agbache missed the chance. Against North East United, his rushing off his line uh, resulted in the goal. In the Mumbai match, in the first half, he came off his line, but uh, uh, fortunately for Chennai, the ball bounced off the post. And of course, uh, the mistake which resulted in the goal. So for all these instances, he came out of his line. I mean, how are you approaching this mistake? I mean, are you telling him to uh, wait and then uh, remain on his line for some time? Or what is your advice to him? Uh, first of all, uh, during, during, uh, during the coaching and everything, uh, working on the training, uh, showing the video, but you need to feel when and how, and talking with the player, and uh, all these all this methods that we all the coaches use. The main thing is to choose the right moment and uh, the right method so you can, you can, uh, you can uh, improve him and, and, and to show him. The, for me, the worst thing is to point the finger because everybody now talking about him and then I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like this and uh, I, he has my support and uh, his different methods, talking, uh, showing the video, improving in the training and, and, uh, and everything. So. I'm sure he will be he will be okay, and uh, he's a very good character, and uh, he's an important player for us, and uh, he will be he will be okay, and I guarantee you this. Thank you, thank you, coach. Questions for coach. After a heavy defeat against Jamshedpur, what will be your message to the players who turn things around? Después de una dura derrota contra el Jamshedpur, ¿cuál es el mensaje a los jugadores? Bueno, el mensaje que tenemos una nueva oportunidad. De, de hacerlo bien y una nueva oportunidad de ganar el partido es, es el único remedio que encuentro. The good thing is that we have a new opportunity this weekend, so the message for the players is that we have a new opportunity to compete and to win, and it's the only way to, to change these things. Que hay que hacer autocrítica, yo el primero, eh, asumir la responsabilidad e intentar cambiar esa dinámica. And of course, uh, we have to search into ourselves what we do well, what we do bad. Uh, he as a coach has to be responsible of what, what the situation and also all the staff and players and try to, to change the things. What are your thoughts on the Chennai FC matchup as both teams have different styles of play? Uh, ¿Qué opinión tienes del partido contra el Chennai cuando los dos equipos parece que tenemos estilos de juego defensivos? Bueno, no creo que seamos en el mismo estilo de juego. Creo que ellos tienen unos números eh, que avalan eh, un buen trabajo defensivo y que va a ser un partido muy difícil. That, uh, maybe we are not the same style of, of game. Uh, they have good numbers in defensive actions, but we are not the, the same model. And of course, it's going to be a, a tough game. Ellos tienen buenos números a nivel defensivo y malos números a nivel ofensivo. Y nosotros, al revés. Uh, we have to see the numbers. We have good numbers in offensive ratio of goal, scoring goals, but we concede much goals that we wanted. And the Chennai, they don't concede uh, 
many goals, but they also didn't score many. So, as you see, the, the numbers are, are different. So, uh, because of that, we can say that we don't have the same style of playing. How are you and the coaching staff dealing with injuries with matches happening thick and fast here in the ISL? que como estamos llevándolo el, el staff, eh, la situación de con tantos partidos seguidos, eh, las lesiones que van sucediéndose. Bueno, pues creo que muy bien. Creo que muy bien. Estamos gestionando muy bien eh, pues los jugadores que tenemos, las lesiones, aunque, aunque alguna es difícil de suplir, pero, pero lo estamos gestionando muy bien, como así hemos gestionado durante todo lo que llevamos en pretemporada y temporada, el que el delantero llegará tarde, ¿no? A última hora that uh, for instance uh, we are managing really good because as you see number nine arrived late and we were rotating and having the, the solutions for, for playing in any match during precision and at the starting of the of the competition of course uh, there are some players that they are difficult to to find a player that can subs him but uh, we are happy about the way what, that we are dealing with this this situation that of course any other team on the league has questions for you kino Apart from Sahil and Ajdeep, are there anyone else who is injured and not fit for tomorrow's game? Uh, we will see tomorrow uh, if all the players are available for, for the match. We have an uh, activation in the morning and we will be, be sure, of course, uh, as you know, Sahil that is in, in, in media, but the rest of the players we will try until last moment to see if everybody is available. What is the update on Shubham Sarangi? When can we accept? expect him to see him on the pitch. We have to be patient on, on Subban, the medical team is taking care of him and also Mascaros, the strength coach. Uh, we are uh, being calm with him, we want that he, when he comes with the, with the team is 100% in good shape. So as you know, it's a big injury and also the pandemic situation. So we want to have him as soon as possible, but with calm. We cannot be hurrying these things. Questions for you, First question. What are the things you have learned after joining Odisha FC? Yeah, I learned a lot of things as a player, as inside the field and outside the field, and as a professional football player or as a good person. What is your personal target or aim for this season? Uh, I have uh, last season I I got injured, and this season I have to do more. Yeah, I have a lot of target uh, to score a goal or give good assist for the team. You got uh, injured early in the last season, that was your first as an ISL player. How you recovered after that and got fit to get back on the pitch? Please share your journey. Yeah, it, it was quite difficult. Uh, there was uh, my first season in ISL and I got injured in the first game. And my teammates helped me to recover all the physios, all the medical staffs and coaches. Uh, and I came back before the season end and I'm happy for that. Last question. Tell us about the interactions you have had with so far with the experienced foreigners in the squad. Yeah, they are very good as a person, as a player. They always uh, motivate the young players and I'm happy with, with them.